Hey guys, good morning. We are back to normal life. I'm so excited. I mean, we were in normal life before, but just in a different environment. So we're back to the house, starting my day off with laundry. I actually was, I woke up a little irritated with the washing machine because I put in a load last night. I set it to delay start for like 6 a.m. so that when I got up, it would be ready to go to the washer because I have like five loads of laundry to do. I'm not even joking. We did the very bare minimum laundry while we were at my mom's house. We did a couple of loads here, but I have like load after load after load. So anyway, I had it delay start and I got up this morning, like 7, 7.15, came down, it was done. I'm like, great. I go to put it in the dryer and it's sopping wet. I'm like, dang it! I hate when that happens. So I had to rinse and spin it. I don't know, it's probably because of this bad boy because this blanket tends to soak up a lot and be pretty heavy for the washer. And I, I have complained about this before. I do uh, use like a bedding setting or a deep water wash, but yeah, it just, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal but I had to rinse it and it took 30 minutes to rinse and spin. So that was a little irritating because it kind of set my morning off like, oh, now I have to wait for it. I might as well have just done it this morning, but it's fine. I probably, to be honest, won't get all of the laundry done today, but my goal is at least to get three to four loads, washed, dried, put away. So we'll see, the downstairs is looking fabulous super super clean literally everything except I haven't cleaned the appliances in here the laundry room was like the last thing I had to do laundry I have to clean in here but everything else is like spotless even the garage looks really really good all of downstairs completely spotless but now the upstairs has been neglected so that's what my, I have a clinic Wednesday Friday this week I need to upload I was so exhausted from the weekend I really, I'm gonna try and edit. My computer's back downstairs. I'm going to try and edit uh, today several videos. So hopefully you guys are able to kind of catch up and yeah, I can catch up because I'm just like all over the place. But I have clinic Wednesday, Friday. What's wrong? What's wrong? You wanna do laundry? So, I like my week is kind of going to be disrupted, but I have all day today, all day tomorrow, and today I need to go one uh, grocery shopping. I was going to do a, a grocery pickup order, but um, yeah, it did not. It did not happen last night. And clearly, I have a little one who's not happy. So here we go. I had really hoped to order the groceries last night and get them for today for pickup, but I just was so tired. I couldn't, I couldn't, I was so tired. I needed to go to bed, so I went to bed. And because of that, now I have to grocery shop today because we do not have any fresh stuff. So that's the plan for today. Andres took Maddie to her uh, orthotics final fitting. I think she gets to come home with them today, so that's exciting. So he's doing that, and then he goes back to work today. It's always a sad day when he's done with his off days so I will be here running the ship oh my god that could have been tragic don't you hate when it's trash day and you forget a bag of trash that's how I'm feeling right about now I already brought the trash can back I have a whole other bag to put into it I think that just has a lot to do with how much we're cleaning and just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Backyard's looking pretty rough too. I think I may hire, hire somebody to come do it because, Mama, I don't know what's wrong with you today. You're just not having it, huh? Let me. Oh, that's Say good morning. <laughs> Say good morning. You wanna go walk around, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Now let me shut the bathroom door so you're not in the toilet. Hold on, come on. No, 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 no. No toilet, okay. There, you can get everything else. Autumn already did her Zoom for the day, so she's upstairs in her room, chilling. Emmy's on her Zoom. 
It's literally not even nine o'clock and I already feel <laughs> exhausted. Second load of laundry's in. Gotta make sure she stays out of stuff, so I'll probably just chill for a little while and watch her play around. Um, and then, yeah, the yard, I think I was talking about the yard. The yard looks like trash, so I'll probably hire somebody because Andres worked really hard with me this weekend and he doesn't need to be worrying about the yard, but it really needs to get done, so I'll probably call, call the guy that did it last time and see if he wants to do it again. And then gave us this little cheese wedge she bought for the cats. The cats didn't like it. Oh, you like it, Everly, huh? No, no. Leave it. <laughs> They're not sure what to think. Be gentle. 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 <laughs> Gentle mama. Pet nicely. No, no. Here, look. Gentle. Gentle. See? Good girl. Gentle. <laughs> you don't know what to think of it either, huh? Okay, just got to the store. HEB was closed. Everything was closed yesterday. We literally drove, I don't think I finished vlogging now that I'm thinking about it, but we literally drove to Costco. My grandma needed a few things and I was just going to get, uh, I wanna try this shampoo there, uh, Shea Moisture. They have it in a larger bottle for Emmy's hair. We have Shea Moisture, but it's much smaller and I really like it for her hair. So I wanted to buy the bigger bottles and I'm fairly certain yesterday was the last day they were on sale, but they weren't even open. And so that, and I was gonna pick up some stuff for my grandma and um, we need diapers for Everly. So we were gonna just swing by Costco and get that stuff. I knew HEB was closed because yesterday was Easter. Again, it kinda was weird for us because we did Easter the weekend before. So I was like, well, okay. So then I was like, well, let's go to Sam's. Sam's did, was closed. Walmart was open, but I really don't like shopping at Walmart unless I'm doing their grocery pickup. I don't love their produce. I just, I don't know, I don't feel like they get the freshest things. So I didn't want to stop there, but I was going to do a grocery pickup for H-E-B last night and I just was exhausted. I was in bed by like 9.30, no joke. So tired and uh, I feel a lot better today. So the rest came back with Maddie and um, she got her AFO, she's pretty excited. So we do need to get her a bigger pair of just like cheap shoes. So if I have time, I may stop at Walmart and get a bigger pair of shoes. She just needs something. She can't walk in them on bare floor because they are slippery. So I'll show you them when I get home if you've never seen an AFO. I knew what they were, but I never had had, none of, nobody else has worn them. So what did I get this out for? I don't even know. Oh, I wanted to count wanted to make sure I counted my grocery money because I, I rolled over last week's. If you haven't seen my uh, cash envelope stuffing for groceries, I will link it below. You guys should see it by now. But I rolled over my groceries from last week, so I know I have more than my 150, but I want to know how much I have going into it. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 200, 217, okay. So that's, yeah, that, that's good to get us through the next two weeks so okay cool so I'm gonna run in here and do that if I have time I'm gonna go to uh, Walmart and get her shoes and then um, yeah unless eight I don't think HEB anyway she has to have some support and the shoes need to be a whole size bigger than what she has and and um, shoelace and so the shoes that she has with shoelaces right now are they fit her right now so she needs something cheap to just kind of hold the afo where it's supposed to go so yeah we're gonna do that and then i need to go back to my mom's we forgot our pot and um the baby gate which is why we have mom's baby gate which is much smaller for everly 
at home. The vacuum didn't fit in the car. Like bringing the cats home and everything last night was just too hard to fit everything. And I forgot my basil plant, which there, I cannot rely on my mom to water it because she will for sure forget. She never goes to her backyard and she'll for sure forget to water the basil plant. So the next project we're working on now that we have the house kind of back together, our cabinets aren't happening for several months. In fact, we have the Man, I'm breaking out so bad and it itches. Oh, I'm trying not to mess with it. Um, we have the consultation here in the next few weeks, but she's booking out. We're going with Liz's Beautiful Things and she's booked out all the way through the end of summer. So our cabinets aren't gonna be for a little while, so that I'm not worried about. Um, we are getting carpet put on the stairs. We actually have the appointment next week to get measurements, but again, that probably won't happen for another month. So right now we're done with projects. I messaged the guy for the lawn to see if he can come tomorrow or even Wednesday. That way Andres doesn't have to do it. But the next project in the backyard is going to be a small garden. I'd like to do cucumber, zucchini, maybe some um, other summer squashes, uh, tomatoes, and then basil. And I also would like to have maybe like cilantro and one other herb, I haven't decided yet. Just something small, give the girls something to do. They loved watering my basil plant. I'm also going to do new plants for the front yard. The freeze totally killed all of our plants up in the front. I actually think it killed our orange tree too that we just planted, I don't know, last year sometime. Our lemon tree I'm hoping comes back because that one was pretty, I mean it had been like four or five years in the ground and we were just starting to get a lot of lemons. So yeah, hopefully that comes back. But anyway, I gotta get in here. So let's go. My coffee today is super creamy. I don't know what happened. I'm thinking the creamer that I put for my cold foam sank because it, it like my coffee never looks like this and it's super sweet. I mean, it's good, but it never looks like that. Okay, I think the coffee's already hit. I'm feeling energized. Now, if only I could find a mask, we'd be golden. I'm gonna try this new one, and got us for going out. It's pretty heavy duty, but it's comfortable. So, I'm gonna try this one and see how it goes while I'm in there. Hopefully, I don't suffocate. Let's go. Raspberries are on sale. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna swap out strawberries that are not on sale for raspberries and get several of these. I was looking for some sale meat. They don't have anything that's on sale and I don't, we don't really need meat. So I'm just gonna skip over that portion. Right now I have a basket full of fresh stuff. I need a few things just to cook in the pantry aisles and then I'm done. Okay, this is where we're at. I'm picking up my all-time fave Coffee Mate Italian Sweet Cream, but I found sugar-free coconut cream. So we're gonna try that one. I try and get a new one every single time. We're gonna try that one this time. I didn't have time to film like a cute unloading of everything and loading it in the car because I was by myself and yeah, Marty sweating and hot from the day <laughs> like that was a workout and so I it was one let me tell you 192.24 so I paid with 195 dollars and same thing when I came out I was like scrambling for like how to get what I needed to get and so anyway I just shoved all my change and everything in my purse because I was nervous. I never get nervous paying with a card, never. But I guess with cash, it's just like the process of them handing it back to you and everything. I don't know why it feels different, but it does. So anyway, there's that. I did get a coupon for Coffee Mate, so that's exciting. So for groceries, I literally, I spent almost everything. I spent $193 essentially because the change went in the change thing. So I have $24 left for groceries for the week. But honestly, I, I shouldn't need anything the rest of the week. So I think it'll be fine. And next Monday, we will restuff it. And if I'm very diligent about what I bought, I shouldn't need really to get a whole lot next week either. But man, I was feeling jittery. 
I didn't even drink a whole lot of coffee. It's all at the bottom. I was feeling jittery. Okay. Now, I'm going to scan in my receipt into Fetch Rewards. I always tell you guys whenever I get out of a store, even if it's like Dollar Tree, the gas station, if I get a receipt, I come back to the car and scan it because you get points for everything. So I'm going to scan my receipt into Fetch Rewards. I bought it, I do at home because sometimes I bought it, it depends on what it is, but sometimes Ibotta will make you scan the actual thing. And so when that happens, I like to be around the food. So I'll go home and unload everything to fill my grocery haul and all that. And then, look, I have something. Yeah, I did a hair. But Fetch Rewards are super easy. All you have to do is scan the receipt, put, and it'll put it in there. And give you your points automatically. I have a code down below if you download the app. Yay, 137 points, how exciting. So I have the code, if you download the app and put in the code, it'll give you a free 2,000 points, $2 into your account automatically, and I turn all my points into Amazon gift cards. It's amazing. So that's done, and I know I have a few Ibotta things because I specifically picked up one rice packet that was $2 because it was free. So I think I did pretty good. Now, I'm not going to have time to go to Walmart because I need to go to my mom's and I need to get back home so that Andres can get ready for work. So that's okay. I will get those tomorrow. Everly's having a fit, but I had to get the groceries put away. It was like too late, so yay! Fresh fridge, I'm so excited. Lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. I'm exhausted, but it's done. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. Okay, we have had kind of a crazy afternoon. <laughs> I was editing, no, was it before I was editing? Anyway, a little boy was at our front door and this is like, I don't know. I, I would never allow this to happen to my children but I understand some people's circumstances isn't what ours is, like you don't have family here or whatever. So anyway, a little boy was at the front door. I thought he maybe he was like selling something or whatever, I mean he, was he didn't look that old. and rang the doorbell and I was like, um, just like, I was busy, the girls were here, I was like, don't answer it. Then he rang it again and I was like, okay. I mean, I wanted to make sure something wasn't wrong. Opened the door and he was like, I need your help, I can't get into my house. I'd never seen him before and I know pretty much like the three neighbors next to us, around all of us. And so I was like, well, where do you, what do you need help with? He said, I can't get into my house. I said, okay, he had a key around his neck and he was like, I can't get into my house. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. I need help. And I was like, okay. I mean, he was scared. And, and I was like, how old are you? He said, oh, I'm nine, I'm in fourth grade. I'm like, what, the, what do you mean you can't go in, get in your house? So 
I go to his house, it's just like two doors down. I never have seen them before, so I don't know how long they've been there, but how long they've been living there, but never have seen him or his sister. So go to the house, sure enough, it's like dead bolted or something, and we couldn't get it open. He doesn't know his mom's phone number, doesn't have another way into the house. The garage has a code on it, but he doesn't know it. And so I was like, okay. I said, well, if you feel safe, it's okay if you can wait. It's okay if you want to wait in the house. I said, we're a safe house. And he could see I had the girls and stuff, and he was like, okay. Luckily, he came to a house that is safe. But he came into the house, he sat here, and you know, my girls are like overly friendly. They're like, you want to play? You want to do this? Do you need a snack? <laughs> and I'm sure he was terrified, poor thing. So I found his mom. He did know his mom's name. I found her on the neighborhood app and messaged her. She didn't, she never responded. So I'm just like, do you have a way? Like, does your mom know you, you made it home? And he said, no, we don't have a house phone. I don't have a cell phone. And this was like at 3.15. So he walked from an elementary school and he was like, no, my sister gets out at 445 and I usually let her in. So I'm like, okay, you're by yourself. His sister was in sixth grade. He's by himself at nine years old for an hour and a half. And then his sister comes home who is probably 12, maybe almost 13 because she's in sixth grade. So maybe she is 13. I don't know. She's a year older than Emmy. And so your sister comes home. Okay. And then what? His mom did not get home until right now, and it is 5.50. So if I hadn't wait, so anyway, when his sister came, I said, why don't we go to the front yard? Because I could tell he was kind of like freaked out, Everly screaming, and he's probably like, what the heck is this house? So I said, why don't we go to the front yard? Like you guys can do scooters or bikes or whatever. So we went to the front yard, the girls were ecstatic. They were all riding bikes and doing scooters, and his sister was out there, and they were just chilling with us. And I felt so bad for them because they kept trying to go back to the house. Their mom wasn't home. So then finally, the guy that did our yard last time, he was super quick. I messaged him this morning and I was like, hey, do you think, would you be interested in doing our yard? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I can swing by today. I was like, oh, perfect. So he showed up and uh, then the mom, the little boy was told me the color of her car. So anyway, I saw her drive by and I was like, let me go see, like, let me talk to her because I didn't want the little boy like going home and being like, oh yeah, I was at the neighbor's house and she has no idea what's going on. I would be, first off, I would never, never let my nine year old stay at home. I mean, he's 11 and I would never even leave her here alone. That's again, my, my personal preference. Like if you guys leave your kids home alone, you do you. I, I just, I didn't want her to think that, I don't know, anything like was wrong or anything like that. So. I went over there and I was like, hey, I'm Alyssa. I was like, I'm at that house right there with the van. And she was like, okay. And I said, I just wanted to let you know, your little boy came, there was like, they couldn't get in the house. I said, they didn't know your number. I tried message you on the neighborhood app, no response. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, he was just, you know, hanging out with my girls, like they were playing and riding bikes and stuff. And he had come with a mask from school. So I wasn't really worried about that. And she was like, oh, okay, thanks. And I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> She's like, I don't know why they couldn't. This is exactly how she told me. She's like, I don't know why they couldn't get in. They're the ones that closed the door this morning. So I don't know how it got dead bolted. I was like, I don't know. But I, I said, I came over here, here with him to see and, and the door wouldn't open. And I was like, he didn't know the code or anything. And so I just, you know, let him come over. He was a little scared. And she was like, okay, thanks. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know like if the kids are gonna get in trouble. I would have been absolutely devastated and like groveling with gratefulness for somebody nice taking my kid. I really just keep screaming every single time I talk, every time I talk. So we're just gonna go with it because I'm trying to get them fed and yeah, like I said, it's just been kind of crazy. So anyway, I was really shocked, really shocked. I thought for sure she would be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, but no. Then Andres actually told me, I've never seen these kids before. So Andres told me that the other day when Derek, the floor guy was here, that he went over with them too. So I'm like, what is going on? I don't even know. There's not a like age limit to leave your kids home alone. So that's not even, I mean, she didn't do anything illegal. I just think it's not right to leave your kids without a way. Neither one of them had a cell phone. 
and I mean I don't the girls don't have cell phones eat that work either so I can see why she wouldn't give them a cell phone but if your kids are home alone they don't even have a house phone I don't know I just kind of feel like maybe she should have done something and then I was really surprised I thought for sure she would at least be like thanks so much for taking care of them you know or whatever and the kids didn't say thank you either so I'm like does this happen all the time because they've never come over here so I don't know what they do on a normal basis but anyway that was our afternoon so now I'm heating up leftovers that I picked up from my mom because she didn't want them so it'll be a nice quick easy dinner tonight which I'm grateful for because it's 6 p.m. and we still have to do bath and hair and all that good stuff okay everybody's in bed I have been bringing stuff up and down up and down up and down Things that need to go up, go up when I go up. And <laughs> things that need to come down, come down when I come down. It uh, it just happens like that. So like right now I brought, my shoes were upstairs. I don't even know why, so I brought them down. There's a buttload of shoes here, but we'll worry about that later. My last load of the day. Last load is going in the dryer. I have one load, are these clean? Okay, yeah. I was like, what the heck? I have one load that needs to be folded. So Maddie's clothes got put away. Whose clothes are these? Emmy's. Everly's were completely clean because I had to wash all her stuff yesterday. We folded that earlier today. It looks so pretty, let me show you. We folded it all nice and neat. Probably won't stay that way, but <laughs> those are all the clothes that fit her right now, so. Um, I actually need to downsize some of that because there's a few long sleeve things in there that still fit her, but it's way too hot for them. So her stuff had got washed already. Maddie just finished folding her stuff right before bed. I do not fold. I only fold the little girl's clothes and even then Autumn is starting to learn how to do the majority of her clothes. Like we do not fold her pajamas or her pants. We just throw them in the drawers under the bed and she knows how to hang up her shirts. It just takes her a really long time. So usually it's a tag team effort, but anyway, huffing and puffing because I'm just so tired and out of shape and Lord, I wanted to work out today, but you know, honestly, I feel like I worked out doing everything that I did today. I feel like I worked out. And I really, yeah, like 8,000 steps. I never get 8,000 steps unless I work out. And even then, sometimes I don't get that many steps if I'm working out. So this load is what a little bit Emmy had because we did a load of Emmy's laundry at my mom's house, I think on Friday, maybe Thursday. So she only had a little bit of clothes and then it's Autumn's clothes. So. Tomorrow we'll separate it. They'll put their stuff away. I have one load of ours that needs to be put away. I did the towels and oh, it feels so good. So tomorrow, little things here and there for sure. The yard got done. I was very happy about that. So that when Andres is off, his, I think this weekend we're gonna start on the garden and I wanted the yard to be nice and cleaned up for that. I also edited, I did real, like in the mix of those kids being over here and trying to get everyone for vet, in bed and dinner and everything. I just got done editing the vlog right before everyone went to bed. So that was super helpful. That's exporting right now, I'll get that uploaded. I've been messing around with my iPad. I got the Apple Pencil and the new iPad Pro. I got the iPad, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago, but I haven't really been able to mess with it. I've just been taking it to clinic to do my notes on, but I got my Apple Pencil in today, and so I'm really excited. I've been messing around with the budget on there. I downloaded an app called GoodNotes. I think it was like eight bucks, and I may have talked about this already. <laughs> I can't remember. So anyway, I've been messing around with that while I was editing. I was trying to multitask. It's such a long vlog. It's right over an hour, so hopefully you guys enjoy the long vlogs because I think today is going to be a long vlog too. Got the kitchen cleaned up. Yeah, I'm done. When this load goes in the dryer, I am done for the day. I'll make sure the vlog gets uploaded. I will finish up the budgeting for May 
and which is good. It's April 5th and I'm already doing the budget for May. And I am going to watch some TV and do nothing. Nothing. I probably won't even fold that load of clothes because I'm so tired. I'm just, I'm tired. Such a productive day. I cannot say the same for the rest of the week. So we'll see how it goes. I just walked around the whole house trying to find this camera. <laughs> it's in the laundry room. I would like to point out that the second we got home, Mila found hair ties. Case in point. Hair tie. Hair tie. Mila, where'd you get the hair ties? We've literally scrubbed this house from top to bottom. At least the bottom floor. This is what she's doing. You see? Hair ties. She opens the drawer to get the hair ties. Yes, you. How? How? And then she drags them all over the house. Why, Mila? Why? I need to put the hair ties higher. But she does the same thing up to the cabinet at the in the girls' bathroom. She will open, I have the drawer on top of the vanity. She will open the drawer, pull the hair ties out, and bring them downstairs. Crazy. There's another one, Mila. Mila! Where are the rest of them? <laughs> Go put them back. Go get that hair tie and go put it back. 